You already canceled them? Yeah. You're, you're scrunched up in yeah. there and everything. A little bit of rain, yeah, but that's all right. Hey, eyes off, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make Blake buy it, and then we'll be like, Blake, it's not worth that. <laughs> <laughs> it's build request time. Today in the shop, We've got a high-end customer who wants something special done. Ben Bailey. You guys might know Ben Bailey from Cash Cab. Oh! You guys are in the Cash Cab. Oh my God. Who didn't watch Cash Cab? If you didn't watch Cash Cab, you're missing out. But Ben Bailey is going to do a new show called Money Grab in the Cab, and he needs a platform to be able to go around and pose these questions to different farmers. Well, guess who he asked to build something? Us. So first things first, we got to make it. Bam. Like you see it pull up and you're like, whoa, there's the money grabbing cab guy. So, big flashy wrap. And Caleb is up at Eggett's place, Vinyl Works, picking out a wrap as we speak. All right, guys, we're back here at Vinyl Works. They've got our design complete for this uh, money grab in the cab truck. They started tearing all the truck apart uh, yesterday and the day before so they could get ready to wrap all the door jams. So we're going to go see what the design looks like, see how far they are on the door jams right now and kind of see just the progress of it. So let's go and have a look. Guys, you got this whole thing parted out. Yeah. This is awesome. So you guys have to disassemble the entire door. Does this whole thing get wrapped or is it just the outside? Just the outside of the inside of this door? Right to there because that's where the plastic goes back on, right? That's not these two by four times We're just going to walk. <laughs> At least it's that. <laughs> Then you see all that happening and you see the bed coming off, everything like that. And you come over to the wizard himself. <laughs> this looks pretty cool. Steven, look at this. Yeah, man. This is the part that kills me when people, like, when you want to get a wrap and everything like that, like, yes, wraps are really cool for a lot of different reasons. You can change the color, you can put it over your current paint job if it's good. But when you start doing specialty stuff like this, where you're doing the door jams, there's so much work involved. Looking at the details where they're getting in, they have to clip all this stuff out. You just saw the doors, what they're clipping off. There's a lot more contours on this, so you gotta get it right. Yeah. It's okay? really, really in depth, just to get this one aspect of this building. Step two, we gotta have good lighting. You wanna be able to see people's faces inside the cab of this truck. We come from the TV world. We know how important it is to get a good shot. If you're getting a bunch of like shadowy, dark shots in the cab, no one's gonna watch it. And we want Ben Bailey to have the best show on TV, so we're gonna put in the best lighting. So you got lights right here, okay. detach, magnetized. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is a magnet too. Hey, 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 don't give away the secrets yet. You see how much brighter my face is? How beautiful that is? This light right here, it'll have like a cover over it so it's not so bright and noticeable. This is the cover for the middle light which will be wrapped in uh, headliner material so you won't be able to even like really notice that it's there and the light will just be kind of coming out the side but get this take that down Doug as it's all attached remember it's plugged in what these are all magnets on the back That's and you got access magnet. to your control panel does my lighting look good right now these look fantastic we know the crew has to go somewhere. You don't want to have a follow-along truck every single time. Why not just put some seats in the back with a TV so they can monitor the shots, monitor the show, make sure they're getting all the shots they need, and everybody is riding in the money grabbing the cab truck. Genius, right? Now it's time for the boys to load up and take this money grabbing the cab truck to Ben Bailey to go show him all the work we've put in. And guess what? Oh, Cole, <laughs> he throws a curveball. In fact, Cole's gonna get a new nickname now. Curveball Cole. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but you're gonna wanna watch what he does because that Cole, he's crazy. So really, really, really I'm excited about this. The last time we spoke, um, we spoke on a Zoom call, just trying yeah. to get a feel for, hey, you've been doing uh, money grabbing the cab, but you've been doing it in tractors, right? Yep. Okay. Popping into tractors and combines occasionally. 
Yeah. And then yeah. riding in the little rumble seat. <laughs> and farmer <laughs> gets the comfortable seat. And then I'm folded into the, you know. <laughs> you're you're scrunched up in yeah. there and everything. Was that very comfortable for you? It was not. Okay, so. It was fun, but it was not super comfortable. All right. So that was one of our goals. That was one of the goals we had to find some better comfort and feasibility. The second goal was we needed to get some good lighting, fixed lighting in there, right? Yes, on the other show in the taxi for years, yeah. uh, lighting is always an issue right. because you're moving. Okay. In New York, we're moving between giant buildings. We uh -huh. literally go from bright sunlight to total darkness. <laughs> so it's just the I would just like to pause as, as we go through the intersection and then pick it up again because uh -huh. we could never balance it. So. Oh, that's awesome. And so comfort, lighting. Right. Um, I think we got a little, uh, you wanted a reverse chair. You know, we talked about the possibility of a chair that might turn around, yeah. So you can face the face the contestants instead yeah. of having to reach over and talk yeah. to them that way, okay. So fixed lighting, comfort, reverse chair, and then you need space for everyone, right? Yeah. Because we got, what they're not seeing right now, you got a crew behind here and everything, so we need that crew Inside. Yeah, they gotta be somewhere, yeah. They gotta be somewhere. Uh, we did some really fancy stuff to this, and I really think you're going to enjoy this. So, without further ado, hey Cole, bring out the money grab cab. Come on. Slightly terrifying, but awesome. Isn't that awesome? So cool. <laughs> Congrats on your brand new vehicle. Thank you, man. Yeah. Congrats to you guys for getting it out of the park. Thank you so much. Did we hit everything that you asked for? Absolutely. And okay. then some, man. It's fantastic. If you ever have any other crazy ideas. I okay. do have some crazy ideas, man. Definitely. I'll hit you guys up. Let's do it. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks again, brother. Man. <laughs> well done, everybody. <laughs> So on the way out here to Des Moines, Iowa, got online and I canceled all of our flights. Took the money and we're going to go buy a car from the auction and hopefully make it home. <laughs> what should we buy? Braden, do you have any uh, opinions on brands or? Uh, uh, we're looking for something that'll at least make it home. Yeah. Uh, making it home's important. <laughs> Just thinking uh, safety might be a, a big issue here too. <laughs> so let's see what we got here at the, uh, the Des Moines Auto Auction. Braden just, Braden just spotted the PT Cruiser. I love PT Cruisers. My dad is notorious for making terrible car decisions. And he told me at one point he was considering buying one. Look at this thing. Wouldn't you buy one? I wasn't impressed. But for this, Cole, it'd work. Let's uh, drive it. Let's drive it. Come on, get in the... Uh, Let's drive. Okay, we got 124,000 miles on a PT Cruiser. Who thinks this is it? Who thinks this is it? I think it's it. I think this is it. I think this is our road trip. Feels like it's got decent power. Is this the drag strip? You do zero to 60 right here. Twenty-four thousand miles. It should get us back. Just oh, I feel like the transmission's the weak point here. But one trip is all we need. We need one trip, dude. That guy's full on ass. Well, you know where I'm going. The actual drag strip. We just went through the parking lot earlier. Everyone's just racing fifteen-year-old used cars. <laughs> get a running start back here, I guess. Give her the old test drive. Eyes off, guys. <laughs> uh, but this looks like a a decent candidate. 
Yeah. If That's we can get this for our budget, I'm gonna go for it. Bro. Let's go look at that conversion van. Ford Flex yeah. isn't a bad option. Really? Yeah, you Wait. would say that. Ford <laughs> it's very practical. I was just barely making fun of him from trying to. Uh, it's a very practical car, man. Yeah? get this van back to Utah, I will buy it for whatever we pay for it here. I am for sure. You gotta do the windows. I'm good for a thousand dollars on this, Caleb. Oh yeah. I am, I will pay you a thousand dollars if we can get it home. Please make sure the windows are down. Dude, this is the I'm classiest just, car. No, this is great and it looks awesome and it can lay down and look at this, it's very luxurious. I just feel like I'm gonna sit on a needle, I'm not gonna lie. In my mind, there's no competition. It's this or the PT Cruiser. <laughs> All right, guys, just picked up this van. What do you think? I give it a 10 out of 10. You? Nice 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Anyway, we're out here in Iowa and I needed to upload a video to the internet using a public Wi-Fi from the Burger King. Dude. I love the no, Burger King. No, don't sign into that. Don't sign into that. The only thing worse than Burger King's food is a public Wi-Fi. Tell them about it, Alec. So, friends don't let other friends use public Wi-Fi. I recently learned how dangerous it is. See, I had a friend back in high school use a public Wi-Fi. Haven't heard from him since. So I'm not gonna let Cole get on BK's public Wi-Fi and have all these internet pirates and scammers looking at his data, his browsing history. It's just not good for you. It's not good for anyone. So what you need is a VPN, like NordVPN, the sponsor of today's video. Now NordVPN puts up a shield, a cloak, a mask for you that you can browse the internet safely and securely on any Wi-Fi, whether you're here at BK or home. It shields your IP address from people prying and trying to get that. It encrypts your browsing history so no one can just peek in and take a look and take away your passwords and see what you're doing. And also, they now have a great antivirus software so you can be protected from malware and Trojans and anything like that. Now guys, if you purchase NordVPN for two years using the special link in our description, you're gonna get four months free. That's like having a bodyguard swarm you for four months absolutely free, and that's on us. We negotiated that for you, you're welcome. And you know, VPNs aren't just about keeping you safe, it's also about having a good time. I use one on this trip because my favorite show isn't streaming right now here in America, but it is in France. Boom, bang, bop, turn on my VPN, and I could stream my favorite show from the comfort of this awesome van, and that could be you. So again, special link in the description, NordVPN. Get it now, keep yourself safe, happy, healthy, secure. What else could you ask for? Not only do you get NordVPN with this ad, you get a BK crown. And I'm surprised I am on the last slit of this. Um, but if you're enjoying this, I did get the video uploaded and NordVPN worked fantastically. And they didn't even know that I'm not a king. No, I'm actually just me. Watch this. Here you guys go. Have a wonderful day, Mr. King. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, cool. We have flights paid for. Not we know anymore. we can get I canceled home. Them. You already canceled them? Yeah. Whoa. You really cancel it, so it's this or nothing. Yeah, I think so. I think it's this or nothing. Hey. All right, guys. Uh, what do you think? I, uh, I really want the older one. You want the older one? Yeah. Braden? Oh man, I, got, I think in PT. You think in PT Cruiser? Yeah. I hope PT Cruiser too. The next day. That's one of them. That's a possibility. Okay. It wasn't one of our three. Three. Caleb is trying to add more options. So in this. All I know is this bearded fellow over here. He's getting me real excited. Yeah, that's his job. His job is to get you excited. Let's go find our vehicles and follow them in. Hey, if we win the PT Cruiser first, we have to go for it, right Blake? If we wait for another vehicle, like we're like, ah, well, let's not bid on the PT Cruiser, and we wait and the van goes for too much, we're kind of out of luck. Okay, what if that goes for like 500 bucks? Are you going to still stick around and see how much that van's going for? Yeah, probably. Okay. Because if, if I can get both for three grand. All I know is it's gonna get really exciting, and I might just yell something. Hey, 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 hey,
We're just watching our PT Cruiser come in, man. Where's it at? It's right here. It's like three cars oh. back. Hey, <laughs> my truck it? sounded like that. Well, here's the deal. I want to go for it. But it's the first car coming through that we had our eye on. Yeah. So, like, I don't know if I want to go all the way. And then you end up getting something at the end that you didn't want to Yeah, much because as you don't want to go one, home empty handed. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think this auction's higher than Mannheim? Uh, it can be, yeah. It can be? Yeah, sometimes the auctioneers can get the bidders jacked up a little bit. So, Caleb, you're not allowed to be in there. I'm gonna get so jacked up. I got hyper in me. <laughs> so you gotta Water wait. They, they'll come out with a really high bid. You gotta wait for them to drop the price down, and Dude, then you start bidding. What are we doing? We gotta be in there right now. No, no, no. We follow it in. The one thing I like about it, it's got good tires. It's got good brakes. I did some research on the the shiftiness of nice the transmission. Tires, bro. The the engine mounts are probably bad. That's what Google says, at least. Can, can you Nobody's sit? looking at it. Nobody's looking at it. Can you sit? All right, let's go in. Let's. TT Cruiser. I need a team on a two here. Dividend two, the big thing. Twenty one two. Dividend number one. Twenty two. Get it out. I am now twenty five. Twenty two. I'm gonna get that. Well, once it got above two, I'm like, let's wait for these other cars. Caleb lost our PT Cruiser. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I never won it. I was hope I was really hoping for the PT Cruiser. I you kind of crapped on that dream of mine. <laughs> Sorry, man. My dad almost bought one when I was like 12, and I, you know, ever don't, since then I was like, don't throw this on me like I'm ruining your dad's dream and all this stuff. It was my dad's dream. Oh my god. It's a sin he hasn't been able don't. to. You didn't move a muscle during that PT Cruiser. If it was no. that important, you would have done we, something. I like in hindsight, I definitely think we should have. Them. Like we should have maybe gone up to twenty five hundred bucks. Because we can all we we can sell it for twenty five hundred bucks. I know that when we go. Okay. All right. Hey. Yeah. I got twenty four hundred cash. They don't take cash. Well, Blake does. Yeah. Blake takes anything. We'll we'll make Blake buy it, and then we'll be like Blake, it's not worth that. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. He has no idea. What's I'm about so to glad him. that we're using Blake's money. Okay, get what we want. Get what we want. All right. Hot. Hot. I think this might be a good option. Plenty of space in the back for me. You think so? Yeah. Dude, you're like <laughs> six four. <laughs> It's, the kids like to put the aftermarket suspension on these and it tightens them up a little bit. Or is this no. just not aftermarket? It's just, no, I, I think it's, it's, cold, I think it's might... a 1995 suspension in it. <laughs> uh, aftermarket. <laughs> trying to smell the exhaust. Two thousand two, two hundred thousand miles. It's going to be with an F two Ten thousand. Okay. Like, what do you see mostly broken down inside of it? Six. 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 The bad rest. But the wheels were blasty dipped black. Yeah. I get it. I get it. We're not bidding on a, hey. a Jeep Liberty. If we get the Mustang, it's not going to be bad. Yeah, it'll be great. And we can get it to Doug in no time. But <laughs> let's we see. Fire we have a buyer home already. Let's see how this goes. I like the yellow fort. Gotta get Are it. you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, what's my top dollar? Huh? Top dollar, top dollar. Uh, 21. That's three? Okay, three. Okay. I got permission to spend three grand. Let's see what happens. Three grand. 
28, 29. Same as your age. Gotta go. 34. Oh, no. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you almost got number 34, dude. You almost ruined the whole entire budget. I know. Holy. Good job. You're quick with your reflexes. Slow of hearing, but quick reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> Cole, please. Here's the deal. This looks sweet. Hands would These drive this. These things are awesome. These are absolutely awesome. They're comfortable. It's lower miles, and looking back home, you can probably sell this around four to six thousand dollars. I bet awesome. here it's going to go. I would up our budget. I would do up to four. Okay. Straight across, fifteen hundred. <laughs> this might be a quality unit that I could daily drive though. I'm telling you, these things are great. Yeah, I take a lot of restraint on that, man. Hey. I get 7500 bucks to spend on this. I know I can get it. You can get it. All these guys wanted that man. And we just overpaid by way too far. Hands, we make a lot of $7,000 mistakes. You talk? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, my partner, we have three dealerships, and we're always talking about a dealer to, you know, deal with, you know, guys smoking pot in the back, the strippers that come in, and what they're going you know. So you've been to our place? No, I haven't. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy looks like the guy on Caddyshack, the young guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Danny? That's Danny Newman. Oh, we call you Caddyshack. Danny Newman. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> and uh, dealer, Rex, it's legit miles, but it was just fucked up in 1994. So I can see it all I have a license. It's just like that. Right, like the miles say not actual, but it, I know they that are. they are. Yeah, yeah it's the, there's like a one owner, he knows the people that owned it. And it just, so that's why it reversed last week. The guy that bought it last week was the one that spins right there. And he finally gave up. So. <laughs> well, I was like, dude, just give up. <laughs> I'm going to buy this thing, give up. <laughs> so you think it'll make, make it to Salt Lake? Jerry. All right, all right, I'll take your word for it. I guess the question is, what are we doing with it when we get home, man? What do we, do we keep the flex if the guy accepts to have redundancy? It's probably worth $1,700 to make sure we get home. In my mind, yes. Yeah. But also in my mind, I would rather road trip together inside that van. I would rather road trip together inside that van. If I were home right now, I would have Amigo and Iram come look at it immediately to tell me, can you drive? So I need to find an Amigo and Iram here. Come on, he's got someone. Those are actual, he's telling me that's cherry, man. He said, don't worry about it. I'll guarantee you this. I'll buy it from you for $1,000 whether it makes it home or not. I'm out. That's my guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't shake on that. <laughs> I didn't shake on that. <laughs> you ready to go home? Yeah, I'm ready to go home. We're gonna leave tonight. Our our plan is to race Braden home. So Braden is not on board with the whole idea of driving home. He's not willing to roll the dice with us on breaking down mid Nebraska in this van. So we're gonna leave tonight. He's gonna catch a flight tomorrow morning, 
we have about a 17 hour drive to get home. So, can we beat Braden home is the real question. Trust the van, I want to trust the van. Yeah. It's like an ex-girlfriend that's cheated on you a few times. You want to trust her, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is my summer rig. Oh, look at this car. 5.7 liter V8. 44,000 actual miles on this thing. This thing is the cat's pajamas. Look, it's got an air freshener in there. You know it's good. No, 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 no. You know it's genuine. Genuine. You know it's genuine when you got this. John doesn't even know what this is. Oh, the cigarette lighter? Can I smoke on the way Dude, home? Dude, my, my first truck had one of those. Yes, <laughs> yes, Cole, you can smoke on the way home. I played with these nonstop in my mom's van. Sorry, mom. Talk about a culture shift. Ashtray, cigarette lighter, that is not a thing anymore. <laughs> this is real wood. I mean, look at that. We gotta stop by Home Depot. We gotta pick up some nice polish on that. I think that's walnut. Dude, you got the fade on here, front, right, left, interior lights, auto, whoa. You look comfortable in there. I'm way comfortable. I know it looks like I might be cramped, <laughs> but this chair, it just feels like you're sitting in your dad's lazy boy and you're driving. I can't believe we got this. Like airplane controls. Yeah. All right, let's get started up. Next stop, Hawaii. Uh, what are you doing? Using the oh, ladder. Dude, roof rack and ladder included. <laughs> Don't fall through my roof, man. They said it'd support me. Dude, look at this spare. It swings out, I think. No. It comes out with the door. It comes out with the door. Dude, this is so cool! No, this is legit. Look at this. Look at the activity. You can do so many activities. Party like table. Let's go have a party. Okay. All right. I, I don't know where you're going. <laughs> you want me to turn around, Joe? Um, <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you, you, you can. can. I can. Hold on. Dude, this is awesome. But here's the real question. Like, which one of you is better at driving at night? Uh, John. I can totally do it. But I don't know if John's cool with driving this car. What do you mean? Should we go to the auto center right here in Walmart? Or whatever this is. Is there an auto center? Oh, yeah. All right, John. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Story time. I think we're just going to start the journey like this. Oh, so we're going baby. to Walmart to pick up the oil. Look at that baby's face. He's like, what the hell? You can't. Did you want your phone? You can't leave stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, give me that. You, yeah, I mean, this I is was like... emptying my pockets for the road trip, man. I think I'm going to get a bucket of ice to put my face in. Because it's not cool in there. But opening the windows isn't bad. Yeah. We got some weather coming in, and if anything, that's going to be a tornado. We're going to be pretty good in that rig. So what do we need? We need to get some oil. Some... Do we want to just buy a gallon jug of 5W30? Yeah. Antifreeze. John, we're, we got a predicament. <laughs> iPhone jack. Maybe we do the radio thing. Is there a radio thing? An FM transmitter? but you need an aux cable for that. Hey, we got that Bluetooth FM transmitter. Charge the AC or no? Is that a thing? Yeah, you can. You can hook it up and charge it. We should try. Premium synthetic. Nice, good choice. I had no it faith has in you. Dexos one. So, we have more air fresheners, which we already have. Uh, FM transmitter, uh, Do we have the fluid. charger though? Did you even get a charger? I thought you had a cord. I have a cord, but can that plug into it? Yeah, I thought about that. That's got a USB charger. So we're going to use one charger for the whole car. Yeah. You want to record this to him? Oh, a dude was like staring at me like, I think I was filming. <laughs> dude, dude, really? I'd like that, huh? Okay, how much of this do we want? Yeah, I'm actually leave. There's no recording. Dude, that guy was so mean. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to grab a hold of your belt loop and just walk you out. I really got kicked out, man. Kayla's checking out. We're going to get on the road. We have maybe seven hours of um, overlap time or time to kill with Brayden. I think we're going to need most of it. Um, I'm, I'm predicting that we arrive three hours early if Kayla will just hurry up through the self-checkout line. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. Uh, John. I forgot to tell you, we did get you your own blanket. It's very special. Oh. And, uh, hand me John's blanket. Look at that nuggle. Well, look at this unboxing in the Walmart parking lot. 
Look at his nuggle nuggle blanket. <laughs> Look at the bottom. Tic Tac? No, thank you. Nasty habit. <laughs> I got everything we need, Cole. Got everything. I got all the essentials. Tell the audience what the essentials are for a road trip like this since John got kicked out of the store. How about next time, John? You don't do that. That was really <laughs> weird. I got us some windshield washer Let's put fluid. it in right now. What should come over here? Oh. While Cole's doing that, I have some royal purple for gasoline motors. There's zero coolant. No, 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 no. there's plenty of coolant. That's the cold level. It's so these are always funky. I think that's good. Do you do this? No. What are you doing? Well, it says full. Cool. Do we need any oil in here? No, I got plenty of oil. Okay. Battery looks good. We got some antifreeze in there. Put the cap on so we don't leak it everywhere. Yeah, we man. got plenty of this. Don't forget your key, and that's essential for this. Hey, we got blankets, we got pillows, we got talkies, we got dillos. Hey. Uh, I'd put it under Vandura. There? I'd do Vandura. Oh! Vandura. Right there? I think so. You have to say the Pledge, Pledge of Allegiance as you do it. Okay. We thought someone was going to break in. Okay. Every time. I get in this, it smells like a bad decision. Hey, Suri, take me home. All right, clearly, you look like the most comfortable person alive. Yeah, I am the most comfortable person in the world. I envy no man. Easy, easy, cool. I'm getting both armrests out right now. Yeah, every seat has an armrest. Has two armrests. You don't have to fight with anybody over it. Speed is good. We are good. Except for a little bit of wind. A little bit of wind. A little bit of rain. A little bit of rain, yeah, but that's all right. That was a 16 hour drive that felt like it might have taken a lot longer than 16 hours. Made it home in the Vandura. It was an awesome trip, but uh, we had our fair share of challenges. We had to go through a thunderstorm in Iowa and Nebraska. We had to go through a pretty gnarly blizzard in Nebraska and Wyoming. Like, we only had good weather for a little bit. It was either windy, raining, or snowing on us basically the whole time. John and Caleb fell asleep most of last night. Uh, didn't really help me out with the drive too much. They did help me this morning by giving me some relief because I was definitely falling asleep. But I had a question for you guys. Who thought we were going to make it home in this without any problems? I didn't. That's why we buy all the supplies. I thought for sure we were gonna have issues. The blizzard would have given us some problems, but the van handled everything perfectly. We made it home safe and sound. Blast from the past, basically. Well, anyway, it's good to be back. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Well, I got kicked out, Steven. I was just trying to record, make a video. Some dude came up, he was like, nah, you can't record. I'm kicking you out. I'm like, man, really? So. And the freaking van is uh, locked. It is locked. Cannot get in the van.